So if you have been following Dungeonland and watching our videos, you may have seen or heard somewhere that the game is pretty hard. Uh, we do say that a lot and we do want to challenge our players, but it's not like our goal is let's make a hard game. It's not about that. Our goal is to make something that is fun to learn. It has something to teach you. So you're not going to be able to easily transfer your skills to be awesome in Dungeonland right from the start. The first thing that kills people in Dungeonland is lack of teamwork. So if you don't work together, if you try to do everything by yourself, you are going to die pretty fast. So we actually designed the monsters, we designed the skills to work this way. So if you're not communicating, if you're not uh, planning ahead, talking with your teammates, you are going to fail. And as your party gets better, you are going to want a bigger challenge. So after you understand the game, after you know how to work together, and you use all skill synergies and stuff like that, you're gonna find that it's actually pretty forgiving. So unless you want to play against a human dungeon master, there are two options in Dungeon Land for those of you who want to die a lot. So the first thing is difficulty levels. So Dungeon Land starts at hard, and then you get harder and impossible. So as the levels go up, the game does get tougher, you get more enemies, the game requires more team play, you can do less stuff by yourself, and we want everyone to eventually beat the game on hard. But only the best teams are gonna get through it on harder and impossible. The second option is called challenges. So every level in Dungeonland is like a small wow raid or something, but it's always changing. We're always trying to surprise you and make you play differently. So we don't want you to find an effective strategy and just repeat it all the time. And challenges embrace that. So you can choose to play with up to three challenges that are randomized at every level. So you don't know what challenges are coming up and in what combinations. So your team is gonna have to adapt. Uh, we have things like building sheep, where you have to escort a building sheep to the end of the level. We have things like X Factor, where all the monsters get health regeneration. And these are all things that are going to change the way that you play and surprise you. And this supports what we want to do with Dungeonland, which is replayability and variety. We hope you liked this overview of how difficulty works in Dungeonland. You will start dying on January 22nd, and it's available for pre-order right now. Until then, Make sure to follow us and ask us whatever you want at Twitter, Facebook and the Paradox Farms. Thanks.